Okay, let me ask you a uh, more tactical question. Sure. Let's say you're in a dialogue with someone, a pro-choice person, and they are committing a logical fallacy. And let's say this person is not a philosophy major that you can just do this whole trade back and forth. Oh, wait, you just committed that one. Okay, ooh, sorry, okay, we're going to fix it. If you're just talking to someone, just a lay, lay person who's pro-choice, seems like probably not going to be the most effective to say, oh, well, you just committed the uh, 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 appeal to pity. You know, that's probably not going to be very helpful. So what would be a more grace and tactical way to help show someone that their entire argument is is grounded in in a logical fallacy. Yeah, and I would actually encourage your listeners to not say say, oh, you committed this fallacy because it's terribly presumptuous and arrogant and most people start to really <laughs> don't appreciate talking to someone that just points out every little fallacy uh, they're making. But rather, what you should do is follow Greg Kokel's tactics and JFA training and ask, well, why do you think that? Why do you think abortion should be legal? And then continue to ask follow-up questions. Why should abortion be legal? Well, because pro-life are just trying to take away women's rights. They don't care about women. They wouldn't even adopt children. And then you could establish the point of the ad hominem by asking a question instead. You might ask, well, does it make sense? Could a person be a bad person but still be right? So you're making the point of the ad hominem by asking a question to illuminate it for someone. So the more you, you listen and ask for things to get justification for reasoning, you don't have to point out the fallacies. The person sees there's something wrong with their argument.